Hi, I'm Dr. Nicola Gaither at the Animal Hospital of Statesville, and we are here today to talk about lab work, the importance of that, and how that can be used in diagnosing your cat. And also, our clients a lot of times have questions about the importance of lab work, and we want to help you understand why that can be a crucial part of keeping your cat healthy. So Kyle is going to ask some of those questions. So what is lab work for a cat, and how is it done? Lab work, in general, is a test, and so that usually involves blood. It may involve other um, samples, like urine, um, and so that is looking at values to help us determine why your pet may be sick. Um, that would involve drawing blood from your cat or collecting a urine sample, depending on what type of lab work we're doing. Okay. How does a baseline lab test impact the health and well-being of my cat? By having a baseline, it gives us a reference for, for your pet and what your pet's normal is. So that's a good thing to have if we later find that your pet is sick or find abnormalities. So one reason we do that as on a yearly basis is to see any ups or downs that we wouldn't necessarily know about if we just came in when they were sick, we couldn't tell. That's right. That yeah. there's a larger difference or that's it's right. what he's always been. Mm -hmm. What are some reasons that my cat might need lab work done? Cats will come in for various reasons. One will be just the wellness, and we talk a lot about that, that we recommend yearly wellness checks that include lab, include lab work, which also gives us a baseline. But at the, at the other side of that, it might detect something that's going on with your pet. So cats are great at hiding things. They don't always show us when they're sick. And so the routine, what we would consider routine lab work, might actually pick up a problem. Okay. What are some possible cat health conditions conditions that the lab work can help detect. For, in particular, our older cats, I think about um, three big, big things that lab work helps us with. Hyperthyroidism, which is an elevated thyroid, kidney disease, and heart disease are the three big ones I think about for older cats. And then another common cat issue, if you've had cats or multi-cat households, um, would be urinary issues. And so those are two different types of lab work that we might might help us to determine what's going on. Okay, what specific things are being looked at using my cat's blood work and what will they tell you about my cat's health? So that's a really broad answer to that question, but in particular some examples, if it's a new cat or new to you or new to the household, we would want to screen for infections. And so one big one in cats is the viral a blood test. So we look for feline leukemia and FIV. Um, so that's one blood test that's done. And we usually do that if, like you said, if it's a new cat in the mm -hmm. household or a new kitten. We like to, right. eat, no matter what, what age they are before mm -hmm. they get mixed in with the general population. Right. Because like know those things. Those two viruses um, can be highly contagious from um, cat to cat when they're interacting. And so that's a good baseline to, to know as far as risk factors to your other cats. And then we talked about um, with the dogs, we talked about the CBCs. Mm -hmm. um, right, so a complete blood count looks at um, just what it says. So it looks at red cells, white cells, and platelets. Um, and so then the chemistry looks at more of the organ values. Okay, and BUN and creatinine, those are Yes, yeah, so two the, other common ones we right, and at. so those three big categories. One was the kidneys and cats, and so the BUN um, stands for blood urea nitrogen, which is a big um, name for a kid the kidneys <laughs> uh, and the creatinine. So these are actually toxins that the body um, naturally filters out. The kidneys filter, but when the kidneys are not working well, those toxins build up in the bloodstream. And so then when we detect them on blood work, on routine lab work then we can determine if the kidneys are healthy or if there's a problem. With the ALT and the bilirubin, mm -hmm. what are we looking for there? Right, so that's focused on the liver and cats can get various liver issues, but we do worry about um, a big name is hepatic lipidosis, um, which is some other values would detect that as well, um, but they can um, have issues with their liver and so those are enzymes that we would, um, the ALT is an enzyme that we would test for. Okay, and we mentioned a little bit about glucose. Yes, so diabetes in cats is something that we see and so blood sugar. Now one thing that we don't get too excited about is when the blood sugar is mildly elevated because we know that just thinking about coming to see us 
elevates their blood sugar because of stress. <laughs> um, so we cats get stressed easily, <laughs> right? So even though there are normal ranges, we also um, don't just treat blood work, we treat the patient and so we look at what the patient is doing and how that might be actually normal in a certain situation even though a value might actually technically look high or low, it could actually be normal and that's where the interpretation and our knowledge comes into play. Now electrolytes are also often included in blood work. What are they and what do you right. get from them? So if your pet is vomiting a lot, their electrolytes might be off. Um, specifically we're looking at the sodium, chloride, and potassium um, and that helps us to determine the health of the pet. So is blood work alone enough to ensure a proper diagnosis for my cat? So just like I was saying, we don't treat blood work alone. We are big believers in physical exam. So putting our hands on the pet and assessing the pet individually, um, but also blood work is a makes a more complete picture to determine what's going on with the pet. So um, if we had something, because sometimes blood work, there's mach the machine gets off or um, the sample is hemolyzed, which means it's just not the perfect sample. Some, some breakdown has occurred either due to um, the sampling method or different things can happen. Um, so we want to assess the pet as well as the, the lab results all in one. Why is early detection and diagnosis of an illness or using lab work so important? Especially for cats because we know that cats hide things. Um, they Very often, well. that's their survival mechanism and so um, I think it's so much more important in cats for early detection because usually that carries a better prognosis if we can treat early. So if you have questions about cat lab work, give us a call. We're happy to answer your questions anytime. Thank you. Thank you.